hi, Benita here. Welcome to my home, welcome to my kitchen. Today we're live and it was all very last minute, but we're live and I have a surprise for you, a surprise guest. Uh, but um, I just wanted to say hi and uh, welcome to the next episode of uh, Eating Better and Living Well. That's what I'm calling this. These are regular episodes of food tips, pantry cooking ideas and ingredients um, and food and recipes that we can all make at home and feed and nourish our families even during these trying, crazy, challenging times, right? Life has changed a little bit outside and we're all trapped indoors. So, um, so today we're talking about popcorn, right? Making snacks because I feel as if my kids are eating all the time and popcorn is a great go-to snack. Um, it's whole grain, it's healthy, it's delicious and if you make it at home from scratch then you also have bragging rights that it's made from scratch. And my recipe, the way I make it at home, it's, um, it's actually really easy to make and the kids can make it themselves. So yay! Checks all my boxes. So today I have a special guest, my daughter, my younger daughter, Serenia. She is going to help me with making popcorn. We're crouching here by my stove so you can see uh, exactly what we're doing. So we're doing popcorn two ways. Uh, I've got the camera at her height. And so we're doing popcorn two ways. I've got the stove going here, a uh, stovetop popcorn, and then Serenia has her way of making popcorn. So how do we do that, huh? We put one layer of kernels into a microwavable bowl like this. And then we put it, we put a microwavable plate over it and then put it in the microwave for two and a half minutes. Yep. It's that easy, right? Your kids can make it. So when they say, mom, I'm hungry, well, honey, make some popcorn. All you need to do is get popping corn, which is, you know, kernel, um, popcorn kernel. And, um, and it's a pantry staple. It stays really well in the pantry for weeks, months, and um, it's a great snack. So that's what Serenia did. She has a glass bowl for the microwave. And our trick is to pour enough to cover one layer of the bottom. That's the trick, that's the ratio. And that's what you need to know for the stovetop popcorn as well. Because I've got a pan here. It's just a regular saucepan. And I am putting in here enough popcorn to cover the bottom layer. Sorry, to, to cover the bottom of the pan. That's our ratio. Single layer of popcorn that covers the base of the pan. It works for any and every pan. So I like to put a squirt of oil. I've got canola here. And to turn it on high for a few minutes. and let it sit for a, for maybe 30 odd seconds on high while it heats up and then we turn it to medium. But while that's happening, we'll take you over to what's going on in the microwave. Sarenya, come here and tell us what's going on in the microwave. Okay, she's getting a snack, <laughs> but hang on. Yes. Whenever you put popcorn in the microwave, make sure you stay a couple feet away from it because because well radiation so yeah that's something we do um, but you still want to keep an eye on the popcorn I don't know if you can hear it and I'm going to move this camera around it might be dangerous it might all collapse and you'll see my messy kitchen but what's happening in the microwave is fun to see the popcorn is popping and if you see here, we put it in for maybe, how long did we put it in for? Two and a half minutes. Okay, awesome. Let's head back before I drop this camera. So that's two and a half minutes. It's popping away. It's actually doing much better than the stovetop one. <laughs> and you can see the stovetop one right here. 
Yeah, hang on. There's something else we want to know about the microwavable one. Hang on, I'm just going to put the camera right back here. Before I drop it, because I will do that. Okay, okay now so what do we need to know about the microwavable wait, popcorn? Okay. Now that the microwave has turned off, we can go over and take it out. Most people will wait a couple of minutes because it's hot, but you can take it out immediately if you use a dish towel so that you won't burn your hands. Right, that's important, no burning. Okay, so while Saranya gets um, the microwave popcorn out, very carefully with a dish towel, you saw that, the popcorn that's on the stove is of course taking much longer, but it's delicious, is popping away, right? So the thing with the popcorn on the stove, oh, okay, microwave popcorn. That looks ready, right? That took us two and a half minutes and we made it from scratch. So you take the lid off, Wait a bit until this, all the steam escapes. Put the plate somewhere where no one will touch it because the plate will still be very hot. Yep. And then put anything you want on your popcorn. I will get back to you on that. Well, what do you like to put on your popcorn? No, you do those. Okay, so I'm going to do mine. We're tag teaming here. So um, the stove top, if you saw, um, I have been tossing it a little bit and that's why the adult or the teenager needs to do this is um, Toss it a little bit. It's best to have a saucepan with a lid that fits tightly um, On it, but it's also best to have a little bit of a, um, a Hole in the lid I guess to help the steam escape because nobody wants soggy popcorn and uh, I've turned it down to medium and now it's popping away, doing its magic, and every 10, 15 seconds, I toss it. So if you have questions about popcorn, ask me. I will share this on IGTV, and this is important information, right? This is crucial snacking information that everybody needs to know. So we will share this on IGTV and on YouTube and on the blog. Okay, what's next for the stove top, for the microwave? Okay, give her a second. Okay. So I like to put butter, olive oil, salt, sometimes cheese, but I never, but I only sometimes put all of them on one. Only sometimes do we put all of them on one. But this time, what are we putting? So we're gonna put my olive oil. I've got this that we love, that it's kind of reaching the end of. So. Um, we might not be able to go grocery shopping for the next few days because long weekend, right? Put a drizzle of olive oil all around. And then put some salt. You can put pink salt or normal salt. I prefer pink, but the other one also works. Yeah, and we haven't had pink salt for a while, so. And then you toss it around with your hands or a shovel. I'm going to use the shovel. But if you want to use your hands, make sure one of your hands holds it down. And it might still be hot, so you might want to use a dish towel with this step too. to share with you. You saw me doing a whole bunch of stuff here. None of that is necessary, but I wanted to turn this off and show you what's going on with the stove top. So with the popcorn has lifted this, this very tight lid off <laughs> and there is a lot of delicious, awesome popcorn. And if you remember the ratio, what was the ratio? One layer of popcorn, and this works for any size pot, microwave or um, stove top. Take a bowl, cover the popcorn, um, cover the base with one single layer of popcorn kernels. That is the ratio that works for the 
full because I've seen this so many times. We make too much or we make too little. And if you see this gorgeous, gorgeous popcorn, we would under normal circumstances, and these are really normal circumstances, right? Um, we will never ever see normalcy ever again. But yes. Yes, yes, go for it. So Serenia is putting butter and olive oil and salt on hers. I'm you going to put olive oil and salt on mine so that we can all have a yummy snack right before dinner, right? Usually when you put butter, you'll put it immediately after you take it out so it can melt. But if you do it a bit later, then you can microwave, put it back in the microwave so the butter can melt. That was great. Okay. Okay, so if there are any questions about popcorn, then um, then comment, ask me if you have questions, and uh, um, if you have tips that you want to share that work for making popcorn, well, share away. I have one comment here that I'm not able to read and I will share this on Instagram later but I think we're almost done now you can so put as much butter as you want I love butter so I'm putting a lot okay awesome so let's show you the last snapshot of this we've got popcorn from the microwave but remember if, if you're putting it in longer so the butter can melt remember to put the plate back on just in case any more kernels pop because that happens totally and if you do get to the bottom of the bowl and you finish the popcorn and there's kernels left lots you, of kernels lots of kernels you can totally put it back in for another two minutes and let them pop why waste them right they're delicious well i hope you enjoyed this video uh subscribe for more pantry cooking quarantine diaries tips and recipes bye from us later